Hello everyone, I am Raven. On behalf of Share Window Society, I welcome all you teachers to the most successful and one of the most successful and innovative idea sharing platform ZIIA, Zero Investment Innovations for Education Initiatives. Now we are going to discuss about different types of innovation ideas using in lessons. Using different types of innovation ideas in the lessons helps the students to learn in a most joyful and in a friendly environment. It connects the students with their day-to-day -day lives, real life atmosphere. Now we are going to discuss about the NCRT board classes third and the subject is EVS and the lesson name is food we eat. Food we eat is the lesson which relate with the food in our lesson in our tiffin and enhance the knowledge of the students about the nutrition values of the food and also about the healthy foods and also about the balanced diet. So this is the lesson and the innovation idea used in this lesson is called what is in your tiffin. What is in your tiffin is a type of an innovation idea which covers the concept of the food from plants and the food from animals and also about the food for babies and also about the different eating practices we made at houses and also about the different di cultural diversity among the different types of foods. So these are all the concepts covered through this innovation idea. For doing this innovation idea, we are going to do in a two methods that is building and the explaining part. So let's take an example. We have completed the lesson food we eat very recently and we are going to do this what is in your different innovation idea with the common lunch. We are instructing the students that we are going to do a we are going to have a common lunch on one day. In that day, the every student should bring their tiffin, their food to their school and they have to sit together and we are going to have a common lunch on that day. So we have instructed and it is a building part. We are calling every student for the lunch party. We have made the student to sit and round in our lunch break. We are going to open all the tiffin boxes in our class. So every students have opened their tiffin and a teacher as we are also going to sit there we are opening the tiffin for an example i am a teacher i had a chapati in my tiffin box and i am telling the students that i have chapati in my tiffin box what are the food you have in your tiffin box we are asking the question and every student should be responding that i have roti i have puri i have rice i have a dal like rice every student will be telling what are the dish they have what are the food they have and we are accepting all the response and we are going to ask another question to that student is what are is this are the familiar foods you will eat regularly in your home so you have chapati right will you have consumed chapati in your regular food like weekly twice or three either it will be your regular food like that they will be responding no today only chapati tomorrow always we will have a rice and dal so being today my mom did chapati i bought this so likewise we are also asking another question to the student what are all the other foods you will be having in your home other than this chapati or roti what are the regular basis food you will be having so the students may respond idli dosa or like that or they will be responding rice dal or something we are going to accept all those responses and we have built up the students that we have covered we have made the students to involve with the food what are the different types of food and what are the cultural diversity of food practices done in different houses so because one student was telling they will be having rice dal one student will be telling i will be having egg meat and everything and this was covered through the building part coming to the second portion explaining part we are telling the students that i have chapati and the aloo so who are all having a aloo based potato based food so some student would be having a potato fry, some would student would be having a boiled potato, some student would have bought a aloo paratha. So food related to the potatoes, who are all bought a potato based food? Who are all bought egg based food? So if the students are telling I got potato madam, I got aloo paratha sir likewise. We are going to build the questions to the so we are going to ask the questions to the students is potato, where the potato comes from? So either it is from the plant or it is from the animal. The student will be telling it is from the plant, it will be from the ground. So we will be taking potato from the ground. So it is from the plant, right? We will be asking, the student will be telling, yes, it is from the plant. So some student will be can be bringing egg or something or some student will be bringing a dairy based food, like a milk based food, curd or something. So curd, where it comes from? It is from milk. Milk, where it is comes from? It is from cow. Where, what is this egg? So where the eggs come from? It's from the hen. So it is from the animal. So food from animal. So we are connecting our regular food which is 
which what all the foods are came from plant what are the foods are from animals and also we are asking the questions to the students that oh, how many people are in your home what type of food you will be having what type of food you will completely avoid in some house they won't have a non vegetarian so they will completely avoid the food from animals so your my father one student is telling my father will have only vegetables he won't eat egg or milk or something so he is a vegan so he is having only vegetarian related food he is not taking a non vegetarian food so likewise we are accepting the response of the student in that lunch period in that tiffin period so we are telling the students sir what are the cultural diversity was there what are the different food practices are there what are the plants are from animal what are the plants are what are the food are from uh, um, plants what are the food are from animals and everything was related connecting with the single tiffin box food so so that the lesson which we thought was covered and related through the students tiffin box and also we can connect if the child or baby is in your home what the child will have milk will be given to that child so milk is from animals so food for babies also been covered so this is the innovation idea called what is in your different with the building and explaining part helps the helped the students to know about the food and nutrition values of the food and also about the different food practices and the diversity of food and its culture so this is the innovation idea called what is in your different used in this lesson food be eat so more like this types of different types of innovation ideas using in lessons you can see through our youtube channel zaiai kindly like share and subscribe our youtube channel zaiai thank you